Hi there guys and welcome to today's video. Uh, today is a very exciting video, do you want to know why? Because I'm doing a collab. I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a collab, but you know, I thought it was time. One, two, three, let's go! Today I'm working with the fabulous Creative Creation. I will link her channel in the description below and go check out the video that we did, which is like the opposite of this video, but the same. I sent her a very festival look. It was a bit strange, a bit flowery. There was like an eye involved. It was very odd, but you know, she, she nailed it. So it's my go today to try and do the look she's given me. So, I will now let Creative Creation, aka my pal Lisa, let you know what I'm doing. Hi guys, I'm Creative Creation and I'm doing this little collab with Grace. But yeah, I'm really excited because I've never ever done anything like this so far. I've never had a collaboration with anyone. But hopefully this is the first to many collaborations. I'm gonna try and explain my <laughs> my drawing. And I'm not very good at drawing. I'm like actually really shit at like art and stuff. Which is like, but I'm a makeup artist. So I don't understand. So, this is my person. <laughs> okay, so this is their eyes, the eyelids. The eyes are closed. So what I was thinking was like, so in the crease, like blue and then blending it outwards with purple, blending it outwards with pink and then cut, cut the crease all around and then have like sunset colours. So like red right at the bottom where the lash line is. So red there and then blend it upwards with orange and then right at the top here is yellow. I don't know, I don't know if this is, this would actually look good, but that was just like my vision. But my main thing was that I wanted it, um, I wanted sunflowers to be incorporated. So it's supposed to be like a full face look, so I've just thought like draw a little sunflower and then have like a stalk, a stalk green like line. Going all the way down here to like next round where the mouth is and we've just got little pink flowers with leaves on here and then another sunflower here and these pink dots are supposed to be blush so i was thinking like really bright blush and then glossy but nude lips because obviously there's so much going on in the face so that was my that's my little idea grace incorporate that into your own look however you want yeah okay so i don't really know where to start on this look um probably on the eyes and then i'll do the base and then i'll add all the like extra patterns i'm not an mua don't know how many times i have to state that but i mean i'm obviously becoming one because this video and my last were both makeup videos crazy right so for the eyes she said that it needed to be very bright so i'm going to take my juvia's place palette because that has got very bright colors in it see where i'm going with this <laughs> i've just put some concealer on my lids just so it picks up the color a bit more don't know if that's a real thing <laughs> But it is in my makeup studio. She said about going in with the blue. So I'm going to go in with Dahlia. Um, which is this really, really bright blue here. That was embarrassing. I had to answer the door like this. Oh. <laughs> right, where was I? I don't know how to like cut the crease and stuff like I'm not I'm not a professional and then she said blend it out with purple and then pink this sounds very technical Lisa I think you've given me too much of a challenge so I'm gonna take Makara which is this purple here <laughs> And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush and I'm going to go in with Bori, which is the bright pink. So I've done the 
blue into the purple into the pink so red on the lash line up to yellow in the crease so I need to cut a crease and I don't know how to do that I think it involves me putting more concealer on but do I need to take some of this off like off the lid I'm gonna ruin this <laughs> I think that'll do. I'm going to put a bit more concealer on my lid because I think that's what you do. I'm not sure. <sighs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I'm just going to pretend that that's cut. I know it's not because I'm not an MUA. But we're going with it. <laughs> is James Charles coming to the rescue with a yellow? Of course he is. There we go, taking ooh, B, appropriate, because B is a yellow, and black. That's how you can tell I'm a primary teacher. I think I already had like some red or something on this brush. I mean, you can't see any of the yellow. Ah, oh, it's in my eye. I'm going to clean my face. Thing is, that isn't even the hardest part. Like, you saw her design. She has gone for it. Okay, so I'm going to do my eyebrows. Um, she hasn't specified anything that I have to, like, do in particular to them. So, I think because everything else is so much on the like the stuff going on on the face like the flowers like the sunflowers and the eye color like all of that then the, my eyebrows need to be quite dull because there's already a lot going on i don't know if i'm making any sense do a nice simple bushy brow i'm gonna attempt the sunflower which isn't gonna go right I know it isn't. So I'm going to take an eyeliner to do the sunflower. It's always a great start, isn't it, where your circle goes wrong. I haven't got a steady enough hand to do this on myself. Like, I could probably do it on someone else, but... That's horrendous. That is actually horrendous. She wants a stalk to come, like around and over the nose so i think i'm gonna have to do this in one swift motion because otherwise it's gonna be all over the place so i'm gonna go like that i think and she's done another sunflower here but i don't feel like my face is big enough because i'm gonna have to put like leaves and like, I feel like if I do another sunflower, it's gonna to be too much. So I'm gonna make an executive decision not to ruin it anymore. It's a beautiful idea, but I don't have a big enough, I mean, I have a huge head, so it's not like I don't have a big enough head, but it's not, I don't have like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't have the artistic ability, but also like, I think I could make what we have here work a bit. So I'm just putting, a green eyeshadow, which is Marley, out of the Juvia's Place palette, and just going along the line. It's actually hiding the black quite nicely, and it's got a nice, like, glitter look to it. And then I'm going to use the same colour in the leaves. She wants me to put a bright blush on, but I don't own a blush. Should I own a blush? Is that something I should own at my age? Um, maybe. I don't have a very advanced makeup collection. So I'm going for the red eyeshadow, but it's quite pigmented. But she said she did want a bright blush, so let's just see. I mean, that is bright. I'm going to put some lashes on, because I feel like that will, you know, add to it a bit. Lashes always bring something to the table. So I put my lashes
lashes on and I think that actually really adds to that eye look. Um, I'm going to add some colour underneath. Probably just some of the like red. Yeah, that makes it pop a bit more. I actually really like this eye look, like for a festival or something. I think that's so fun. Uh, I, I don't talk about that. Okay, so I have to do a nude lip with a gloss. Got it. And this is the finished look. I think with my non-MUA skills that I didn't do too bad. Bit gutted I had to answer the door with my bright blue eyeshadow. But at least I didn't have a flower on my face. <laughs> that is always a pro. But yeah, Lisa, I hope you like it. And I can't wait to watch your video of like see the process of you doing mine. Make sure you go over and check out Creative Creation. I will link her in the description below. She is an amazing makeup artist. Also, please remember to subscribe. It really does mean a lot to me. And yeah, I will see you next time for another video. See you later, lovelies. Bye.